When you hear the name Amazon, you probably think getting your packages, Amazon Prime Video, but they also have a very huge part of the company that powers just about everything that's exciting in our world right now. It's called Amazon Web Services. And when I talk about web services, this is the cloud and machine learning. They power solutions in space, in sports, in robotics, in shopping. I mean, the list goes on and on. One of the things we got to see when we went to Amazon reInvent, which is their annual conference to bring together customers and all of their teams around the world into one place to sort of show off all this great stuff that they're doing. They had something called the Builder Fair, which I thought was amazing. Essentially, this is a, a big part of the conference floor where various teams and departments actually compete against other teams and departments. From within inside Amazon Web Services. Yeah. It's like a science fair for adults. Yeah, and they get to show off some cool projects that their team is working on or something that's sort of like a little outside the box of what their department normally does that they've been interested in either from feedback from their customers or sometimes they just have a really interesting idea that can utilize the AWS cloud services in a unique way. And some of them are really interesting. Yeah, I, I don't even know how to explain this. You know, I mean, you look at all like the robotics and you know, the space stuff they're doing and then you go to this this builder's fair, this science fair. Like one example would be these guys that came up with this ax throwing solution. You know, that popular ax throwing. Well, they came up with a way for the, I guess the board through cameras and everything to automatically score the axes as they're being thrown towards the target. Yeah, so they had these uh, pegboards with these, you know, sort of rubber maxes. They were able to tell the angle, the, you know, the points, of course, all those different things. And it was actually a lot of fun. And I really enjoyed beating the crap out of Mike at axe throwing. Yeah, you are pretty good at that. Another uh, solution was it's this uh, AI air hockey table. So you could actually play, I guess, the computer in air hockey, a very popular game back in my day. I think I did pretty good on this. I mean, it's not like uh, the superest air hockey machine in the world, but it's just exciting to see that the the machine was actually trying to learn my moves and, and block them and try to beat me. Yeah, it was kind of like playing Pong, but in real life. Exactly. Another thing I thought was really cool was the sign language interpreter. So essentially you use a microphone and you can talk and then they had a little robotic hand that would actually do the signs for uh, words and phrases that way. So very uh, interesting way of translation services using a physical robotic hand. Yeah, it was kind of cool. I, I don't think they have the full words yet. I think they're doing it by letter. Yeah. But I mean, you got to start somewhere. And I just think that's kind of exciting technology to uh, bring, you know, sign language into the spoken language world. And Finally, I mean, there was a whole bunch of different solutions, but I guess the beer brewing one was kind of cool. Yeah, it was pretty, they actually had a couple different beer uh, themes. <laughs> one was uh, a brew master basically that was using, uh, you know, chemistry and machine learning and all these different things to figure out the perfect IPA and all these different- The perfect things. mixes of all the ingredients, right? Yeah, and then they had another one that would actually serve you the beer using, again, camera technology to see where to serve the beer, how to pull it from the kegs and all that type of stuff. I still think I like the human bartender, but it's exciting to see that they could use the technology and cameras and, and AI to figure out how to actually bring that beer to the customer. So why, why are they doing this? Well, the big thing for me that I took away from this is that it's a chance for those teams to have a really fun experience, sort of thinking differently about the products and services that they offer, but also a really interesting way for their customers to see different ways of using AWS in the real world. I think that's the big point right there to inspire not only their internal uh, team members, but to your point there, the customers. You know, I think there's all the kind of traditional ways that uh, a lot of companies are using these cloud services and machine learning right now. But just to kind of see the out of the box thinking, I think it just brings uh, the technology and the innovation to a whole other level. And you know what I'm excited about? This happens all again next year. So we're really looking forward to seeing uh, what uh, 2023 brings. For all this and more great tech stories, visit our website at getconnectedmedia.com and be sure to visit our YouTube channel and like and subscribe if you really like this stuff.